More than 10 billion light years separate us from one of the most dangerous space objects in the universe, the ultramassive black hole TON618. This is the largest known black hole at the time of this video's release. Scientists estimate that its mass is equal to 66 billion solar masses, and its event horizon extends for 200 billion kilometers. That's 124 billion miles. The gravity of black holes is incredibly strong. Even an object moving at the speed of light can't escape it. We're extremely lucky to have been born so far from TON618. But what if things were different? What if a similar black hole somehow appeared near our planet? Due to super strong gravitational influence, the black hole would begin attracting the Earth towards it and at the same time slow down the passing of time. For example, if a planet's path to a black hole took only a few minutes, on Earth this would turn into hours days or even months or years depending on the effect of the gravity. We wouldn't know the difference, but if there was an outside observer, they would notice the planet changing rapidly. Perhaps for this person, millions of years of evolution would fly by in just a minute. But it's simply impossible to predict the appearance of a black hole near the Earth. There would be no black disk on the horizon. The sky would not darken. Our planet could be destroyed by a black hole with a radius of only two centimeters or eight-tenths of an inch. If we were to encounter such an object one day, our demise would be very sudden. Any black hole has an event horizon near which tidal forces are activated, but their effect is uneven. One side of the Earth would experience more gravity than the opposite. So-called spaghettification would begin. It's quite difficult to imagine this in the example of an entire planet, but it's easy if we talk about a person. If you fell into a black hole feet first, your feet would be more intensely attracted by gravity than your head. They would be stretched first. Even worse, your hands would be pulled a little in the opposite direction. As a result, you would not only stretch out, but also shrink towards your center. At some point, you may realize that you feel strange. But there would be no time to understand what was happening. You'd be stretched out in a matter of seconds. For the Earth, falling into a black hole can be compared only to the apocalypse. You wouldn't be able to twist the Earth with such great force without damaging it. The tidal forces of the gravitational field would turn you, rivers and lakes, forests and the entire planet into threads of atoms. And then the singularity would split it all down into literally nothing. But how soon this would happen, and if it would happen at all, depends on the mass of the black hole. In the case of black holes formed as a result of the collapse of a large mass star, this apocalypse on Earth would occur a few hundred kilometers or hundreds of miles from the event horizon. However, with an ultra-massive black hole, not everything is so simple. Tidal forces near its event horizon are significantly weaker than those of medium-sized black holes. Because of this, we wouldn't feel the extreme impact until we were very deep inside it. Simply put, the Earth could pass the event horizon before spaghettification. To anyone watching this process from the outside, it would seem that the planet was gradually slowing down and then beginning to melt. So, the Earth has passed the event horizon of the giant TON618. Our planet will be affected by the gravitational pull of a supermassive black hole, but it will be much weaker than if the black hole were small. For a while, people wouldn't even notice that the Earth was being consumed by this black monster because the passing of time would slow down. Catastrophic changes wouldn't occur immediately. In the case of an ultra-massive black hole, we may even be able to live the rest of our lives out normally inside it. But there is another possibility. Most likely, most of humanity would perish before the Earth crossed the event horizon. Because of the gravitational attraction, the Earth would constantly be shaking. The power of the tremors would only increase. Cities would begin to collapse. 
The Earth would be covered by tsunamis. Volcanoes would wake up, including those that have been inactive for centuries. Numerous eruptions, the sky covered with ash, landslides, giant faults, fires. It's almost impossible to survive under such conditions. If the Earth collided with a black hole with a mass of 66 billion masses of the Sun, a huge amount of energy would be released. According to scientists, it's about 32 decillion megajoules of energy, or 32 with 33 zeros. This power is equivalent to 500 septillion of the bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima. It's not difficult to imagine the fate of the Earth under such a bombardment. It would simply turn to ash. It's impossible to escape a black hole after crossing the event horizon. Nothing else would remind us of our planet's existence. It would simply disappear from the universe. And by the way, the other planets would also be dragged over the event horizon and cease to exist. Eventually, the black hole would swallow the sun. Even if the planet survived, it wouldn't be for long. Their orbits would be disrupted, and the result would be rather predictable. What would happen to you personally if you somehow survived all the cataclysms and together with the planet found yourself drawn into a black hole? Nothing good, of course. What we know about the interior of black holes comes from Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. Beyond the event horizon, all laws of physics cease to exist. Space and time are no longer interconnected realities. Inside a black hole, they merge, losing their independence. Scientific publicist Amanda Gefter writes that the moment you reach the event horizon, you seem to freeze in one place. So it would seem to any outside observer. A planet, a person, any object in a black hole would freeze as if someone has put them on pause. And then, reality would split in two. In one reality, you'd be torn apart along with the planet or incinerated by the heat of the Hawking radiation near the event horizon. But in another, you would dive into the black hole alive and unharmed. That is, you would be both alive and dead. You can't stay alive and dead at the same time unless you're Schrodinger's cat. But black holes make all the difference. On the one hand, according to the laws of quantum physics, you can't cross the event horizon. You must remain on the outside of the black hole. After all, no information is ever lost forever. But on the other hand, the laws of physics require that you fly through the event horizon alive and unharmed. Otherwise, the general theory of relativity would be violated. So, the only reasonable explanation of what would happen is an instant cloning of the Earth and you. Despite the description of such a hypothetical scenario, there's still a chance that the Earth could collide with a black hole. In May 2020, the European Southern Observatory recorded an object as similar as possible to a black hole. It's only a thousand light years from Earth, and it's supposed to have a mass four times that of the Sun. This object has not yet been fully studied, but if it was formed by the explosion of a star, it could move quickly enough with the help of the received energy. Whether it would move towards our planet or away from it remains a question, but I wouldn't rule out the possibility of a complete disaster. Finally, I want to say that no spacecraft has ever come close to a black hole. The only thing that humanity has at the time of the release of this video is a photo of a supermassive black hole obtained in the year 2019. Therefore, all the data that scientists use for research is based on Einstein's theory of relativity, mathematical modeling, and the study of certain areas of the cosmos. All of the information I've used here is from open sources. Perhaps, when the planet comes in contact with a black hole, everything will happen differently. But I still don't want to see it for myself. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click on the bell to receive timely notifications of the release of new interesting videos that are waiting for you ahead.